Hi, I'm Mrs. Korn. In my house, we celebrate Hanukkah. So with this being the last day of Hanukkah, I thought I would read you a story that we will read in my house. So the story I have for you today is called Hanukkah Bear. All right, it's by Eric A. Kimmel. Old Bear awoke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Bubba Brea took the last potato latke from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Bubba Brea was 97 years old, and she did not hear or see as well as she used to. But she still made the best potato latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her, friends came, all her friends came to the house at the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Bubba Brea always made plenty, but tonight she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight, the rabbi was coming. Bubba Brea hurried to get ready. Just then, she heard a thump on the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're here early. How nice to see you. Grumps growled old bear. Happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. Old bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, rabbi. Oh, how, but how thick it is. Bubba Brea tugged at old bear's fur. Old bear roared. Rawr! Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is chilly in here. Old bear's nose twitched. Rawr. Thank you, rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The lakas will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. Rawr. Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we light the menorah. That's all right. I know you were teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessings? Rawr. Baba Brea struck a match and lit the Shamas candle. Then she lit the one for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled, Who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season? Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessing so beautifully. Baba Brea sat down at the table. Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one with his teeth. Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. <laughs> Growled old bear. Don't worry, I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Bubba Brea spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimmel. I win! Bubba Brea swept the nuts into her apron. Rawr! Old bear roared. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. She tossed him a nut. Old bear begged for more. No, Rabbi. No more nuts. It's time for dinner. Bubba Brea opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Bubba Brea asked. Rawr, old Bear growled. Jam, I thought so. Bubba Brea smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them down. Bubba Brea laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. Rawr, rawr. I'm hungry like a bear, so I'll eat like one. I can see that, Baba Brea said. Old Bear ate and ate until the lakas were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Baba Brea's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? All the lakas are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Bubba Brea took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. Brrr. Old Bear licked Bubba Brea's face. Bubba Brea blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age? Old Bear shuffled to the door. He growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Bubba Brea was washing the dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. 
Shalom, Baba Brea. All her friends stood at the door wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody, Baba Brea said. How nice to see you. I'm sorry I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. He ate them all. Baba Brea, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue. Baba Brea rubbed her forehead. Something strange is happening, Rabbi. I think there is an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. Just then the children cried, look at the floor, bear tracks. A bear? And I thought it was the rabbi. Baba Brea had to sit down. Soon she began to giggle. That was a very clever bear. Or a very foolish Baba Brea. Oh, well. Let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too, and so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar. Fetch my grater and bowl. Everybody has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was so full of potato latkes, the warm woolen scarf wrapped, wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, Old Bear and happy Hanukkah. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story about Hanukkah and to help us celebrate the last day of Hanukkah. Have a good night, everybody.